You know, Jen, a good friend of mine, he's an artist, a musician, and a motorcyclist, Mendelssohn Joe. Um, many years ago, M. Joe said to me, hey Dave, you know, when you're riding, just imagine everyone is out to kill you. And that has always stuck with me when it comes to defensive riding. Yeah, you could use that one, or mine is uh, ride like you're invisible. So it's my job to make myself as visible as possible out there. Right. So I, I see you've brought along your vest. Is yeah. conspicuity part of what we're talking about it's here? It's huge, making yourself seen. I mean, big part of riding defensively is seen as much as possible, but the reverse of that is be seen. So right. doing your best, and if that includes a vest or um, you know wearing those colors that should never ever be seen together in nature on your jacket and bike and stuff, whatever yeah. it is. Okay, so we know how to be seen. Um, what about just in terms of your defensive riding in general? Uh, yeah. Some of the things we should remember, blind spots. Blind spots and your lane, that, that's your lane position or your tire track position. I mean, that speaks volumes about how you ride. Mm -hmm. So making sure that you're not in someone's blind spot, that if you're traveling in another lane, if you can't see that, if you can't see their eyes in the mirror, like take that as a general rule of thumb, then they won't be able to see you. Right. So don't, and don't hang out in people's blind spots. You know, if you're going to pass them, pass them. And that brings up eye contact. Mm -hmm. You know, you're thinking about intersections and things like that. It huge. is possible to make eye contact. Make sure that driver sees you. Yeah, that's right. huge. Uh, and, and little key things and anticipating what might happen. So in that scenario of the left-hand turner, like maybe their signal light's not on. So you can't assume that everyone uses their signal light because, yeah. you know, that might be broken. So, you know, watch the tires. If, they're turn if the tires are turned a bit, that's a, a clear indication that they might pull out in front of you. Right. Right? Uh, following too closely. Yeah, that's a big one. You want to make sure that you create at least minimum that two to three second following distance. And again, if you're going fast, like if your speeds are increased or the weather conditions are, are pretty bad, you might want to increase that depending upon the scenario. Right. So yeah. be seen. C, yeah. we're talking about keeping your eyes moving, right? Yes. Always thinking about an out, keeping your eyes moving. Yeah, that what if scenario. So like as you're traveling along, you know, keep your mind, that's why our minds are so important, you know, and alcohol doesn't mix too well with riding a motorcycle. You know, you have to be thinking as I'm looking down the road there, you know, that car's there. Now what if it pulls out in front of me? What, where's my escape room? What am I going to do? What if, what if, what if? That's, right. that's constantly in your head. Okay. Yeah. So. You are riding as if you are invisible. Yes. And I'm gonna ride like everybody's out to kill me. That's right, we're gonna be proactive. Perfect, I love it. Defensive riding.